My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay and welcome back to a video on my channel where I create content all about bullet journaling, where you take a blank notebook just like this one and turn it into your own custom planner, journal, scrapbook, sketchbook, diary, really whatever you want it to be all in one notebook. I've noticed that people that enjoy bullet journaling seem to also really enjoy reading, whether it's listening to audiobooks, reading physical books, the intersection of book obsessed people and bullet journaling obsessed people is pretty high. So so today's video is for the readers out there. Those of you that love reading or listening to audiobooks and want to know more ways how you can use your journaling to help document your journey as a reader. So I'm going to be setting up five types of reading spreads that are perfect for use in your current bullet journal or in a separate reading journal, however you decide you want to document your reading. These will be spreads for tracking the books you're reading, documenting your thoughts and reviews on those books, as well as planning out your future reads and keeping track of any suggestions or notes that you have along the way. Because I don't actually have to set up any new book related spreads in my personal bullet journal, I'm going to be setting these spreads up in this soft cover Moxie Life doc grid notebook. I feel like this makes the perfect just standalone reading journal for anybody who wants to keep information regarding all the books they're reading in one place. So I'm going to be setting up these spreads at the beginning of this notebook and then giving this away to one of you. If you want to enter this giveaway, it's super easy. Just read the description down below for all of the entry rules enter in the comments and in one week I'll choose a winner to send not only this little setup reading journal, but also a few other supplies for your journaling, like some stickers and washi tape for my collection. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's jump right into this notebook and start setting up some reading related bullet journal spreads. To set up my spreads today, I'm gonna to be using some stickers from my sticker shop. These are stickers that I make for my own bullet journaling that I just feel like make things so much easier. And I also made a few new sticker sheets specifically for this setup, like this bookshelf tracker sticker here that I'm gonna be using a little bit later on. All of those stickers are available at planningwithk.com. And I also have a couple reading related sticker bundles available as well if you want to stock up on all of my reading and book related stickers. I'm also going to be using some printables from my Patreon. These are just digital downloads that you can access under my $5 Patreon tier. For those $5, you get hundreds and hundreds of digital downloads that you can just print out at home on sticker paper. And I have a bunch of printables that are also like book and reading related. So I'm going to be using some of those as well. Since I'm setting up this notebook as its own dedicated reading, journal, I'm first going to make a little cover that matches the fact that this will be a journal all for tracking one's reading journey. So I'm going to use this printable for my Patreon with this purple background and this big open book. I'm just going to cut off the white border, stick that on top of the cover, and then letter in my reading journal right on top of that open book. All right, on this inside cover, I'm gonna use this quote page printable. I'm gonna stick this on the left with one of these empty title pages on the right, and I'm gonna use that as a little, this notebook belongs to section. All right, so with the cover and the inside flap all set up, those are the easy parts. So let's get into the actual reading journal spreads that we're gonna set up. All right, there are a few kind of awkward pages at the beginning of this notebook that are, I think, ruining the flow of it a little bit. So I'm actually going to glue these together. This is a good way to deal with those kind of, again, just like awkward first pages that don't quite make up a full spread. I feel like most notebooks have these awkward first pages and some people skip them. Some people use them for something like a key. For this notebook, I'm just going to use a glue stick and just glue the pages I don't want together. All right, there we go. So now it just flips straight to my first full spread, which is exactly what I want. Also, how cute is Luna? She moved a little bit closer to me. Hi, sweetie. How cute are you? All right, so the first spread I'm gonna set up to begin this reading journal is a TBR spread or a to be read spread. 
kind of rhymes, to be read spread. <laughs> this is just a spread that's all gonna be about future planning, books that you want to read, books that are suggested to you, books that you wanna buy, and I'm gonna have a place to compile all of those books that I want to read in the future on one spread. So I'm gonna start off with a header at the top of the page, and then I'm gonna split this spread into four columns for four different categories. The first category is gonna be called On My Shelves. This is a spot to write down any books that you physically own and really want to get to reading. I don't know about you, but I definitely have a pile of physical books that have been sitting around for years that I do eventually want to get to reading, but they just constantly get forgotten about. So I think this is a great spot to highlight those physical books that you have sitting around. The second category is going to be called first on the list. These are for any books that you hear about and instantly know you want to read next. It's basically books that you're fast tracking to the top of your to be read list, books that you know are the ones you are most excited to read. The third column is going to be for suggestions. This is exactly what it sounds like. Whenever you are suggested a book or an audiobook to read, you can write it on this list. The fourth column is going to be called books to buy, and this is for books that you want to physically purchase and add to your collection. Obviously not all of these categories will be applicable for each individual person. Cater these categories based on your specific needs. Maybe you want your TBR sorted by genre. Maybe you want it in level of priority based on what books you most want to read next. You could also leave your TBR uncategorized and just have one big running list of all the books that you want to read. Get creative when setting all of these spreads up that I'm showing you and don't feel limited based on the specific categories or layouts that I'm doing. Just take all of this as some loose inspiration for your own reading journal spreads. And simple as that, that is it for the first spread in this video, which I am calling my books to read spread, a simple TBR categorized into four separate columns. All right, so now we've got a spread for keeping track of books that we want to read, but what happens when we actually start reading and finishing books? We of course need to have a tracker to keep track of all of the books and audiobooks that we are completing. So that is exactly what this spread is gonna be. So for this reading tracker, I wanted to do something a little bit more fun than the typical just like list style reading tracker that I typically do in my journal. So I wanted to do a visual bookshelf, a bookshelf that you can fill up with books as you continue reading books throughout the year. And I thought this would make a really fun series of sticker sheets. So I released a few different sticker sheets to go along with this uh, bookshelf reading tracker that I'm doing. So I'm gonna stick in two of these big bookshelves on the left and right. And then I created these sticker sheets of these empty book spines. As you read a book, you can then write the name on the spine of the empty book and stick it on the shelf. So that's it for this bookshelf reading tracker. I love how the spread turned out. It's so cute and simple. And I think this is probably the exact layout I'm personally gonna use for my next reading tracker because I've always just done kind of boring like list style trackers. And a little bookshelf like this I think would be perfect for me. and some good motivation to read more. I'm somebody who could definitely use the extra reminder to read an extra book here and there. So I feel like the motivation of trying to fill in each of these shelves would be a great way to check a few more books off my TBR list. So the next reading journal spread I'm setting up is something I'm calling the best book bracket. Basically what this is going to be is it's going to be a way to compare the books you're reading to figure out what your favorite is in a fun way that resembles a um, like competition bracket. So at the top of the spread, I'm going to create room for eight different books. And these are the eight books that we're going to have competing for the spot of best book. So we're going to have our eight books and then every two books are going to be pitted against each other to choose a favorite. And you can see how the bracket works its way down, comparing two books at a time until at the end, we get our favorite book of all of these. Now I think it would be really fun to choose these eight books by month. So for example, this month in July, choose your favorite book that you read and have that be the number one July slot. And then in August, choose your favorite book you read in August, put that as the second book, etc., and move down the spread as you go month by month. 
You don't have to do it month by month though. You could do brackets like this based on different book genres. If you're a super avid reader who reads like eight plus books a month, then you could do a bracket like this for your entire month of reading. Again, cater this for whatever works for you. I'm somebody who only reads maybe like two to three books a month. So I personally would probably just choose a favorite book each month and do a spread like this to basically figure out like what is my favorite book of the year. I've drawn out these spaces to be the size of book covers. So you could just write in the titles in these spaces or you could print out some book covers. I love printing out book covers for my different reading trackers. And all you do is you go to Google images, you search up the book cover, you copy that image, and paste it into a Word document. So if you're on a Mac, you'll paste it into Pages. If you're on a PC, then you'll use Microsoft Word. Paste it into the Word document, and then somewhere in the Word document, you can type in the size you want that image to be. A standard size I often do is one inch wide, which makes a nice, small, little rectangular book cover. Make it whatever size you want it to be, print it out onto some sticker paper. I get my sticker paper from onlinelabels.com. And voila, you have a very easy way to actually paste in the actual book covers into your journal, which is just generally a really fun way to spice up your reading journal spreads. And that is it for the best book bracket, a fun spread, almost like a game to play with your reading and a fun way to figure out what the favorite book that you're currently reading is. You could also definitely do a spread like this for other things besides books. I think about doing something like this with albums that you really like, doing something like this with shows, with movies. I love the idea of this spread and I'm excited to apply it to other things, not just to reading. The next spread in this reading journal is gonna be a spread for more thoroughly categorizing and rating the books that you're reading. So this spread is gonna have two different pages to it. So the page on the left is gonna be called Ratings. This is gonna be a spot for me to write down a cumulative list of all of the books I'm reading, along with a out of five star rating next to it. I have a sheet of these five star rating stickers I'm gonna use here, and I'm just gonna pre-set up some ratings on the right. And then on the left is where you'll be able to write in the titles for the books that you're reading. And if you read way more books than this, you might need to set up a few pages for this spread, and that goes for all the spreads I'm setting up. If you don't read very much, maybe you need very short lists for all of these, and if you read a ton, maybe you need pages and pages for the books that you're reading. So adjust your setup for whatever works for you. On the right page here, I'm gonna have a page called Favorites, and this is just gonna be a spot to highlight my favorite books. And again, for this Favorites page, I would probably opt for the printed out book covers. You could also do another bookshelf for your favorites list. You could just have a normal list here. There are lots of ways to visualize all of these different trackers and lists for your book. But yeah, do whatever works for you. I really like the idea of just having a full list with ratings on the left, and then a spot on the right to highlight the standout books on that list. And just like that, there we have my ratings and favorite spread. Okay, so the fifth and final spread that I'm gonna be setting up today is one I'm actually gonna set up in my own personal bullet journal because this is gonna be a book-specific reflection spread. So this type of spread is gonna be for those books that are so good that you feel like you just need to create an entire spread reflecting, journaling about it, writing it, reviewing it. And you know, honestly, this could be for books that are so bad too, really just books that you feel like you have a lot to say and you want a place to document it in your journal in a little bit of a more long form way. There are no rules when it comes to this spread. It truly is just like a spot for whatever you want it to be when it comes to the way that you process and reflect on the books you read. No matter what you decide you want to use this spread for, it's just a really great way to individually highlight books, especially those that had a particular impact on you or that you really enjoyed. So for this example, I'm doing a little reflection spread on the Dark Tower book. This is the final book in Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. And I feel like I have a lot to say about this book because it is the end of such a long series. I also printed out a big book cover to stick in on the spread. But yeah, finishing 
a series, I feel like, is always such a proud moment. It doesn't even matter like how good the last book is. I just always feel so accomplished when I finally finish a book series. So I'm very happy to get the chance to create a spread, just kind of immortalizing the fact that I finally finished the series. All right, so my little book review and reflection spread, I ended up splitting into like four different kind of categories as I was just thinking about this book. I have just like a one line little plot synopsis, a part for talking about what my favorite part of this particular book was, what I thought the worst part of this book was, cause I just had a bone to pick with this book, especially when it came to the ending. And then finally a spot for my final thoughts, especially just kind of rounding out this series as a whole. And with that final spread set up, that is it for these five types of reading journal spreads. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me set all of these up today and that they gave you some ideas on ways that you can use your bullet journal to coincide with your reading journey and how you can use it to track and document the books you're reading and the books that you want to read. I had so much fun setting up this little soft cover reading journal. I'm really excited to give this away to one of you and I hope that you guys get some use out of it along with the other stickers and miscellaneous miscellaneous journaling supplies that I'll be giving away as well. Don't forget to read the description down below if you would like to enter that. And yeah, I'm just really happy with how this little reading journal ended up turning out, but I really love the idea of having like a separate small notebook like this, not only for reading tracking, but also for things like movies and shows, which for me is something I consume a lot more of than books. So I don't know, this is giving me some ideas and inspiration. Maybe we'll have a video in the future showing other ways that you can use separate smaller notebooks like this for different specific types of collections. If you liked any of the stickers that I used today, don't forget that they are all available in my sticker shop, planningwithk.com. I also have those four new sticker sheets that I created, including the bookshelf tracker, and I have two book-related sticker bundles available. One is my bookish sticker bundle with all of those fun decorative and some of the functional stickers, and then a second book tracking bundle with all of those new sheets that I just released. And finally, all of the printables I used are on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash planning with K, where you can gain access to hundreds of printables from the last six plus years for just $5. And as usual, everything I've mentioned will be linked in the description down below, the giveaway details, my sticker shop, my Patreon, and everything else. And with all of that being said, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a like. It really helps my channel and helps for new people to see this video. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Saturday, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.